Hello, looks like I'm live again. I'm gonna wait a, mi a moment or so here just as people decide, uh, people, people hop on. I'm here for night two of uh, nut uh, ways to support your, uh, your mind body health through nutrition, foods. Uh, this evening, we're actually gonna really concentrate on micronutrients and herbs that will help support mind body health, mood, uh, emotional support, and so forth. With everything that's gone on, gone on over the past couple of years, and even just kind of over the over time, uh, supporting mental health has really been more important now than ever. Uh, as I said, with everything that's gone on, and what's interesting but kind of nice is uh, from the mental and emotional health field, there's over time. I, it seems to me that there's been uh, become less of a stigma to it. Hey, Carly, thanks for hopping on. So good to see you here. Hey, Glenn, thanks for hopping on. So good to see you here. Like I said, this is night two. Uh, yesterday, I concentrated on uh, what foods, um, macronutrients, fats, protein, fats, proteins, carbs, and so forth, uh, are good to support a healthy mood, uh, healthy mood, mindset, and so forth. And actually, both, both what foods are good to support a healthy mood in addition to what foods to really be cautious of. Uh, and having too much of that can have, have an effect uh, on your mood. They will add, the food we eat, as the saying goes, the food we eat can be the, the best source of uh, of nutrition and supporting health and well-being. And the food we eat can actually 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 also be a cause of disease. And not just disease; it's going to cause a disease, but it's really going to uh, break the with the disease word apart, it's going to cause your body to be not at ease, which over time can cause inflammation and uh, different concerns over the long run. I'm really excited to see so many people hopping, hopping on tonight. It's a topic I, I like. I really enjoy talking about and uh, like enjoy, I'm sure people, uh, it's a question commonly asked, you know, what can I take for, for uh, stress or anxiety or what are natural, what natural ways to support a healthy mood? Uh, depression and so forth. So again, this, I'm not a doctor, <laughs> cannot make any claims with regard to uh, what you should do. As with anything, uh, contact your uh, local health professional, person you work with. Uh, if you're always looking for, if you're looking for support, feel free to reach out to, uh, as a uh, support and guidance, of course, uh, along your well, your wellness journey. Feel free to uh, reach out to me, and I'd be happy to uh, speak with you about that. Share some uh, recommendations. Let you know a little bit about a, bit, a little bit about more about my story. What's helped support support a healthy healthy mood for myself and and so forth, and how I can, how what I recommend to to clients and so forth. So that, like I said, it's really cool to, to see uh, people hopping on this evening and looking for for ways to support well being. The tradition, as we know, as we know, the traditional uh, uh, approach when it comes to supporting mind, body, mood, emotions, or even just kind of periods of, of uh, anxiety is really just go, go, and it's, it, and so I guess in some acute situations, it might be helpful, it might work, but really, there, there thankfully, there are many uh, more natural approaches you can, you can take to support it. Looks like Tracy and Nambi, thanks for hopping on, Natalie, Claire, thanks so much for hopping on as well, so good to see you guys here. I'm here to talk to, here for you, so feel free to, uh, Comment. Or you can comment in the chat if you want to, or if you have any specific questions. Uh, that's really a little bit too personal to put in the chat, but you can feel free to message me, and I'd be happy to speak with you about uh, give, giving some giving some recommendations. Like I said, my name is Chris Porton. I'm one of the admins in, in the group. In addition to uh, Brittany Prince, she's certainly amazing with what what she does as well. I'm a, host, a certified holistic health coach. I've worked in the nutrition and wellness field for uh, seven almost. 18, 18 years, I started my first nutrition and wellness business in 2005 and became a certified holistic health coach in 2019. It's been an amazing journey. Throughout my life, I've always been passionate about helping people. It's come naturally to me. I originally went to, to college for psychology, so, social work. That wasn't the exact direction I wanted to go, but now I am uh, love being able to support people with their most important asset, their, their health and well-being. Specifically, I, I really enjoy supporting uh, mind, body health as well. It's uh, a big passion of mine and helping people 
make the right choices that are going to support their mood, their emotions, both from the food perspective, the supplement perspective, in addition to the overall life perspective. And that's going to help, help them stay on track uh, towards their goals and so forth. But I, I would mention a little overview of what I spoke about last night. Uh, from a very basic perspective, I'm not going to get into, get into it too much, though, is uh, the things to stay away from and watch out for is uh, the main things is uh, thanks so much, Tracy, see that, that you liked it. Sorry about that. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't wasn't missing out on it. And any important messages there. But the, the foods to stay away from with regard to your, your mind, body, mind, body, emotions, and moods, it really can have, have an effect. Uh, sugar, gluten, and really a lot of processed foods that are full of sugar that can cause a blood sugar spike and it's going to crash. As uh, I like to say, uh, many other people too. It's really important to listen to your body, how you feel with with certain foods and so forth. It's so good to see everyone here. Anyone, anyone has any questions, feel free. Like I said, feel free to send me a message. Happy to answer it or comment in the chat. And I'm happy to uh, speak with you further and answer, answer them. So like I said, it's uh, really important to watch what you eat, especially the, the foods, the foods you eat throughout the day. See what foods will work best for you and see what foods. Uh, no, like they feel good in the moment. Over the course of an, an hour afterwards, hour and a half afterwards, and so forth, you're not going to uh, you feel tired, uh, anxious, uh, exhausted, and that's quite, could be from inflammation. It could be from a blood sugar spike. It could be from from multiple uh, things. But the basics are really important. Like, like I mentioned last night, uh, what what drink as much water as possible. Adding electrolytes can be beneficial for the, for the mind, the body, or muscles, and so forth to help make sure you're getting the right amount of um, important minerals to support well, well-being and so forth. From tonight, tonight, like I said, is uh, another aspect that I touched on a little bit last night, but not too much uh, as time went on. It actually went on like, like an hour or so, uh, but tonight... The inputs of micro, micronutrients and herbs uh, that help support uh, mind, body health, or support healthy emotions and so forth. I'm gonna. Oops, sorry about that. Just gonna make sure everything is good there. With regard to micronutrients, micronutrients are uh, vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, uh, flavonoids that that you find find from. Uh, different plants, vegetables, and so forth. It's really important. And it's kind of touched on a little bit yesterday, uh, but incorporating good micronutrients uh, in supplement form, in addition to from uh, food form, can really help uh, your, your mind, and, mind and body. I spoke about, this is a really interesting study. I love, I love speaking about it, uh, because it really relates to, to my personal story. Uh, what's helped support me and many other people. And again, not a doctor. I cannot make any claims with regard to anything, but I can share stories of what's helped people. But it's a, a study from Dr. Julia Rutledge. She is a, uh, I believe, psychiatrist out of New Zealand. And it was, I think the study was done like 2009, 2010 or so. And she had a, a two groups of people. Uh, one which was... Uh, a placebo group, which is normal and normal in the study, and the other group, which which was taking, uh, they they never really actually said what supplement it was, but it was a it was, she says it was a a, a higher quality multivitamin and mineral complex uh, than what you would traditionally get in the in the store. Uh, higher quality, it's potent, it's bioavailable, uh, bioavailable, and the amount of uh, vital nutrients uh, are that are in it. Are actually often much higher than what you would get in a kind of a name brand uh, product. Just one moment here is going to get a, a water, a water, water. Uh, the East Coast, like I kind of say, different, different ways at times. Ultimately, the punchline to the study is that after I think it was a six or eight week study, and after that, those the study was done, the people 
the group that was taking the uh, the study group that was taking the uh, nutritional product over the course of that eight, eight, eight weeks showed much less uh, depression-like symptoms, anxiety-like symptoms, and overall more energy and better well-being uh, than the uh, group that was doing the, doing, the, doing the placebo. And of course, this is not a drug, not making any claims as to you know what this is as a antidepressant, but micronutrients can play a huge role. As I was mentioning yesterday, uh, B vitamins are, can be really important for mood, energy and so forth to support mood, energy, clarity, clarity and all. And it's been my experience uh, personally transitioning from a standard, standard American diet to very health, very health conscious, uh, looking out for uh, what's what I eat, noticing what I what I feel best with uh, when eating, and then also what foods I don't feel as best with. And when um, since I've been incorporating high quality nutritional products uh, for almost, seven, almost eighteen years, hard hard to believe, eighteen years in, in January, but since. Uh, Incorporating them every day, and I, I, I don't know if it's, a, if it's the same one from the study, but the study is, is really similar uh, to what I experience on a daily basis with often a, a difference in my energy, uh, my clarity, my focus, uh, sometimes less brain fog type symptoms. Again, I cannot make any claims. It's just my personal experience, and I can share certainly testimonials and testimonials as well as to the difference uh, that incorporating micronutrients can have uh, when supporting supporting well-being and it's like I said it's pretty similar to what the study the study uh, has said and I, I put up a, uh, the, the study a couple times uh, from Dr. Julia Ruckwitz it's a TED talk it's about 20 or 30 minutes I think 25 or 30 minutes long so it's not too long but she goes into the impact that it has and there are many, there are many other studies like this. I believe Harvard uh, might even have a uh, department of neuropsychiatry, and that really is the uh, what the impact that uh, micronutrients. And again, we're not chemists; <laughs> we're not just going and kind of picking and choosing and kind of hoping for the best, but really the con concentrating on how we feel when uh, when we eat good foods good whole foods from God's green earth that was put there for a reason, uh, not just from a bag, from a bag that's highly processed, uh, but really eating good foods from the earth. Blueberries are great for brain health. Rosemary, uh, rosemary, which is, which is an herb you can get from the ground, you can sniff it, it smells nice. That's also really good, good for memory. So rosemary can be good for, for memory too. There have been herbs like that as well. Like I said, blueberries, strawberries are uh, have flavonoids, so those are very good for immune health, overall health, overall health, in addition to uh, brain health. One of the other mineral I was speaking of, about minerals uh, yesterday, uh, with regard to greens, uh, having greens, lettuce, lettuce, romaine, uh, romaine lettuce, and so forth, and uh, the the importance of that. Is that as uh, with ingredient greens, is m minerals, uh, particularly magnesium, is really good for helping calm the body down. So when people ask in the group, you know, what's a good, what's good for uh, calming the body when I'm stressed, anxious, magnesium. Uh, there are different for different forms of magnesium, and even before bed, magnesium can be beneficial to help support a. Uh, Help restful sleep, help calm the body down after a busy day. Sometimes your thoughts are racing and so forth. And it's important to, like I said, to uh, just help to calm the body down. The body's busy. We're busy. We've got different inputs. Uh, life is busy. Life, life is stressful and so forth. So magnesium can help, can help calm the body down, both in supplement form in addition to eating magnesium-rich foods. There are times where I'll kind of get get a, a a random craving or desire to have some some lettuce at night. I don't know why, but I'll have some lettuce with some olive oil, uh, healthy fats, maybe some uh, 
it's and some nuts or seeds in there, and it's a great source of magnesium to help calm you down. So from a, a neuro neuropsychiatry per, psychiatry perspective, neuropsychiatry is neurology, obviously, psychiatry being brain supporting brain health. There's so many foods uh, that you can uh, eat and take that will help support the brain, the body, and mood, mood health and so forth. What have you guys been enjoying? I guess I, I can talk about, about this all, all night. So I'd be really happy to answer any questions you, questions you guys have. If anyone has any questions, feel free to comment below. Reach out to me with any questions. I'd be happy to uh, certainly speak about them. But neuropsychiatry is uh, really, the, I believe it's, it's the future. It's the future of uh, supporting brain health. Uh, Claire, uh, Broderick, thanks so much for uh, hopping on. You're talking about uh, micronutrients, herbs, supporting the mind, uh, that help support the mind-body connection, help support a healthy mood, emotions, and so forth. So I was uh, kind of getting a little bit, touching a little bit what I said yesterday, in addition to more uh, from the herbs and you know, different supplements you can incorporate to support uh, the healthy mood, healthy lifestyle, and emotions as emotions as well. Really important. I'm also curious, you know, what do you guys do? What do you guys do uh when you're feeling stressed out, when you're feeling kinda of like all over the place? What are do what are typical uh, different things you do? Or are you looking for for ways to support your health? Su support your health. But support a healthy mood, emotions emotions and so forth. Gonna check here, see if there's any questions to answer. But like I said, there's so many resources available. Uh, you can certainly look for, look up neuropsychiatry, emotions, uh, different recipes for for foods uh, that support support a healthy mood, emotions, and and so forth. It's really really important. But specifically, the one that I just find really interesting because it backs up my experience. Uh, Dr. Julia Ruck Ruckledge, like I said, is, uh, I've been doing learn learning about it because I've experienced something similar and it backs up my experience and there's also and many other people's experience experiences as, as well. Uh, the difference in their, in their energy, uh, their mood, their focused, increased mood, overall well-being when incorporating a, uh, good nutritional products into their, their, their uh, lifestyle and into their day and different capacities and whether it's on a, taking them on, on a day on a daily basis or if you're uh, looking for I'm just kind of times of increased stress what can you take what can you utilize to kind of manage uh, those situations also as well uh, like I just mentioned when it comes to uh, periods of time times of increased stress uh, which ashwagandha is really beneficial. Ashwagandha, ashwagandha is spoken about often, as people ask about that uh, quite often in, in the group. They'll ask about, you know, what can I take to, for increased uh, for stress, with stressed out. They don't want to take a like a prescription pill. It's certainly understandable. Uh, there can be wicked side effects uh, that can come with come with. Uh, Tracy Namby, thanks so much for hopping on. I believe I saw, saw you yesterday, but so good to see everyone. See everyone on here. Uh, Natalie, Claire, so thanks to everyone for hopping on. Feel free to. One second. Okay, there, there it goes. I want to make sure you, you guys are receiving me there. Ashwagandha is really is really beneficial. I take I take an ashwagandha as needed. Sometimes I'll take it once a day. If they don't really feel like I need it, I'll take it. I won't take it. But ashwagandha, uh, lemon balm is also very beneficial. And I found this really interesting too. Uh, saffron. I love learning from Dr. Daniel, Daniel Eamon. He's one of the top authorities uh, when it comes to a psychiatrist supporting brain health uh, and anxiety, depression, uh, mental health. And again, I'm not a doctor, so I cannot make any claims. But he he actually speaks about uh, saffron often. Uh, saffron often as kind of the it's a mood booster. It's a it's a feel good feel good uh, herb. 
I guess you could call it, call it an herb. So the saffron is really beneficial. You can get uh, those in, in, one, in one product or you can get them separately. Or you could even um, use essential, essential oils. You could diffuse them and you'll see, you'll probably uh, not, notice a difference through your olfactory, uh, olfactory glands uh, when you smell it and so forth. So ashwagandha is great. I hi highly recommend that. Uh, magnesium ash ashwagandha as well. Like I guess, like I said, L-theanine. It's a uh, magnesium L-theanine is also known to help calm the body, calm the body down, and that can be uh, good to potentially take at night. But I think it's uh, magnesium at night can helps calm the body down and just get, get your body ready for a restful sleep, which is uh, very, very beneficial. We all need uh, restful sleep on a daily basis. We're going to feel it if we uh, don't necessarily get the restful sleep we need. So I don't see, uh, do your best to incorporate uh, magnesium uh, before bed if possible a, in uh, supplement form or also in uh, just add some magnesium rich foods. I love almond butter. I actually have a jar around the corner here for me. I have my laptop, so sometimes I'll take some before bed. It also helps balance out blood sugar. So if you feel your uh, blood sugar levels, or blood sugar levels are too low in the morning or too high, uh, magne almond butter is just good. You can have a scoop of it, go straight from the jar to your mouth, and that's a good uh, way to give your body the the magne the omega threes, like I mentioned last night, in addition to from the. Uh, magnesium perspective as well. So those are two uh, really good things to in incorporate into your your day. The, the magnesium, like I said, from the supplement or just from the foods. Uh, sometimes you can't get enough from the from the uh, foods that incorporating it incorporating it in uh, supplement in supplement form can be beneficial. But magnesium is so beneficial for uh, electrical electrical functions in the body, muscle health, brain health, brain health heart health, uh, calming the body down, our emotions and emotions and so forth. So I would really recommend seeing what doing what you can do uh, to get, make sure you get the uh, necessary amounts of magnesium. And also, I also notice uh, quite often that I've, I've had people, people message me uh, after taking the, after taking a, a good magnesium product uh, with the multivitamin and mineral, they'll notice like, whoa, within like five or seven minutes, they'll, they'll notice that they ca feel calmer. They feel better. Almost as if a uh, fog has been lifted off their head because their body's getting the magnesium it needs. I've also posted uh, a, a graphic. Uh, and this is, actually goes back to a documentary that uh, Dr. Mark, Mark Hyman did about uh, about brain health. I think the documentary is called Broken Broken Brain. And he talks about neuropsychiatry, foods, the impact that uh, different neurotransmitters have, uh, amino acids, and so forth and so forth. I, I love this. I, I love this stuff. But what it said is that you can take all of the um, SSRIs or a Prozac you, you, in the world where you, you can get, obviously not, we do not recommend, recommend over, uh, overdosing, but if your body does not have the right amount of magnesium, tryptophan, and other amino acids, it's going to be very hard to, li to lift that, uh, that, that depression and that brain fog feeling. So that's why people will often notice a difference in their, uh, in their mood and in their emotions uh, and so forth when incorporating a good magnesium uh, foods, of course, foods first, and then also incorporating, incorporating magnesium uh, in supplement form to give the body, them, give the, body them the magnesium it needs so that I can't get from food alone. It's really, it's really uh, the basics, like I said, is staying away from foods that are going to cause inflammation, that are going to cause a concern and you're gonna feel it. Um, inflammation, it can be silent, but you're also gonna, you can also uh, feel it at times when you're like, well, this feels really good, but then your heart is racing. Uh, you might feel like a tingling sensation in your arms, or uh, you feel, might feel out of it, and, and so forth. So, 
Salus lifestyle. Thanks so much for hopping on. I just see uh, saw the saw the popping up. So like I said, ma like I was saying, magnesium magnesium is so important uh, for many body body functions, but in particular uh, for supporting mood, uh, emotions, and mind mind body health as well. But first, uh, as it says, a snack. I definitely re definitely re definitely recommend. Uh, keeping magnesium rich foods with you. Don't necessarily have to take a salad with you, but I like uh, as a snack. I'll just keep a little bag baggie of uh, nuts, uh, nuts, cashews, almonds, and eat it. Eat it. It's gonna keep me full. It's gonna balance out the blood sugar, and it's also going to. Uh, it's also going to give my body the magnesium and the omega threes as well. Uh, Thanks so much, Salas. So good to, to see you there. Look forward to meeting with you and uh, learning more about you and, and what you do. But thank you so much for the engage, engagement there. I appreciate it. It's so like I said, magnesium is so important, but when you combine combine that with the omega-3s, like you would get from, from a nuts or seeds, it's really amazing. It's uh, really amazing what it can do to support the mind-body health, our emotions and so forth, uh, versus when you have uh, food that tastes really, really good in the moment, but then you're like, well, my stomach can't handle this. It's too much for your stomach. And then you're gonna feel either drunk or you're gonna have a food coma, which is basically, I guess, maybe similar. We just have to take a, uh, I can have to take a nap afterwards because your blood sugar crashes and uh, your emotions are, are all over the place. So it's really important to make sure that your foods are balanced to make sure that your, your uh, blood sugar and and things are certainly not all, uh, all over the place. Just a, a, a balanced meal is more uh, more important, uh, more important and important in more more ways than one. It's not just not just the blood sugar perspective, but that's also going to impact your uh, emotions, your your mood, your energy. When your energy crashes, you're going to be hangry. That's not going to help the cause. What is every, so good to see everyone hopping on here? What is what is everyone enjoying? Uh, whether there have been any tips you want to integrate into your life, uh, but just m maybe it's incorporating some uh, healthy fats like uh, nuts, seeds, almonds, and so forth, uh, or keep keeping them with you. I like to keep a uh, protein bar with me wherever I go, just in case I get hungry, or you know. I, Need the extra calories. So, what are you going to incorporate it into your life? What are you going to do? Uh, I can talk about talk about this all all the time, like I mentioned. But it's what's most important for you is uh, for you to be able to find ways to imp uh, imp uh, incorporate these into your day. So, you, your your mood, uh, your body can be supported as well. I'm excited to hear uh, what you will enjoy learn learning about. As as I said, from the, the food perspective, in addition to from the uh, additional support from supplement, supplements as needed. I've been talking a lot, so I want to make sure I get my, my uh, grab some water. I always carry my water bottle with me wherever I go, whether it's to a doctor's office. Uh, I'm going to get my car worked on tomorrow. I just need an oil change. I'm going to make sure I keep my water with me there, especially in the heat. It's really hot here. In southeastern North Southeastern North Carolina, so I'm keep my water water with me, and I also uh, quite often uh, add some electrolytes to my water to make to uh, for many purposes to make sure I'm well hydrated. I can eat uh, drink all the water, but sometimes if the water doesn't doesn't contain the important minerals, we're not going to be proper, properly hydrated. Hydrated. It looks like there's a bunch of people on, so it's so good to see everyone on. So good, uh, excited to uh, hear from people uh, what they've been enjoying and what they're going to, uh, what you guys are going to, going to do to uh, add into your day to support support your mood, your emotions. So, like I mentioned uh, earlier, earlier on, uh, the micronutrients uh, from vitamin A, B, C, D, E, your minerals. There's the studies prove it from the neuropsychiatry perspective, such as uh, what Dr. Julia Rockledge <laughs> sent some heat to New York. I, I'm actually going to be in New Jersey over the weekend, so hopefully it'll be a little cooler up there. 
It's, uh, we have some wicked humid humidity here. It's probably at, like 90 degree, degrees almost every day. And it's, you can start sweating after uh, uh, being outside for a couple minutes. Awesome, Tracy. I plan to incorporate more magnesium with foods I already enjoy. Nuts and blueberries. That's amazing. Uh, great job. I'm excited to do that. Good for you. Um, I'm also excited to hear what, uh, how you feel. What difference do you notice when you what are you going to notice when you're having uh, incorporating more magnesium rich foods such as the nuts and blueberries? Those are really very simple but things to do uh, and e relatively easy to incorporate. There are intricacies within uh, the nutrition uh, field uh, fields, but for the most part, the uh, basics are so important. A salus, a salus lifestyle, serving happiness. I love to have coconut coconut water. That's awesome. Coconut water is actually one of the best forms of uh, electrolytes. So that's awesome. I highly recommend doing that. It's great to do it. You find the balance of, of uh, right going matter coconut water, the balance of uh, it's sugar and so forth. But coconut water is awesome. Coconut water is really good. Do you do that all the time, every day? You're gonna uh, like once a day. I'm kind of curious. Uh, what do you, what do you do? Uh, how often do you have coconut water? Coconut water, but that's really awesome. So good to to see that you do that. I'm just gonna wa watch the comment comments here. But ultimately, like I, like I mentioned, uh, the the basics are gonna be really really important on a, on a daily daily basis, both on the foods uh, and enough you if you want to also incorporate uh, my uh, nice. That's that's awesome. It sounds like me. I uh, basically every day I'll have a. I at least add some electrolytes into my water almost every day because of the difference two to three times per day. That's awesome. Cool. Just want to just scroll there. I saw that. That's awesome. Great job. I'm so uh, so happy for you. I'm sure you notice notice a difference uh, when you when you do that versus when you don't. I played in a men's baseball league over the summer and. I noticed the difference when I was adding electrolytes uh, versus when I didn't let add electrolytes. And we started sweating really fast because it was probably 95 degrees in the southeastern. Uh... Oh, nice. That's awesome. Good for you. You buy fresh coconut water. Good for you. For you. That's amazing. I have so much respect for that. And it sounds like that's uh, working out really well for you. Like I said, it's, uh, we got really hot in the uh, southeastern eastern humidity uh, so it worked, worked out really well just to add the electrolytes, whether it's uh, sprinkling some sea salt into wa into water, or also add, add, adding uh, lemon, squeezing, squeezing some lemon into there for some flavor, but a combination of both is really beneficial. Hey, Tracy, that's awesome. You're from South Carolina. Where, what part of South Carolina are you? I've, uh, about an hour north of Myrtle Beach, and I've got friends in uh, Charleston area, Charleston area in uh, Mount Pleasant. So South Carolina, South Carolina is really nice, especially uh, by the, uh, about 25 minutes from the ocean here in North Carolina. But that's awesome. Hopefully, you'll be able to find some fr uh, fresh coconut uh, coconut water. It's, it's so beneficial. It's amazing the uh, impact. <laughs> good, good idea. Visit to Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. That's we should all take a little road trip there. That that's really great. That, that that's awesome. So like I said, uh, water adding uh, the important uh, nutrients from coconut water is so beneficial. Sometimes water is great as it is, but sometimes adding a little flavor to it, uh, both from from an infusing perspective, in addition to uh, from a uh, overall perspective of uh, awesome! Awesome! North Augusta, awesome. That, that's great. Hope you. Uh, South Carolina, Carolina is awesome. I'm about, I'm about an hour away. Uh, hour, hour north of Myrtle Beach. Uh, South Carolina is really cool, and I'm sure it's really hot where where you are as well. It's so good to see everyone uh, engaging here in the group. Uh, sharing what they're learning, what they're going to incorporate, and f feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to reach out to me. To let me know, like, oh, this is Chris, this is pretty cool, uh, what they, what you've incorporated, and the difference you felt. That's what I'm here for. Here for. I'm, as a certified holistic health coach, I love doing this. It's uh, 
what I do often and uh, pretty much on a daily basis, on a daily basis, uh, when working working with clients and so forth, it's important. I love sharing different ways to support mind body health. Uh, as I said, from the food perspective, um, and the micronutrient perspective, from supplements, essential oils are also great to diffuse, help support the mood, support support a healthy mood. Mood, emotions, calm the body down. It's really beneficial as well. So there are, there are different ways you can do it. You can uh, support mind-body health. Uh, like from, as I said, from from that, in addition to really different like different lifestyle factors uh, and different um, modalities in into your day to uh, help support help a balanced mood with everything going on in the world, uh, with being so busy, uh, with work and school and school and so forth, or with work and families and so forth. Uh, I really believe that uh, the basics uh, can have so much, such, such a big impact into, into your day. So I want to keep it as, as simple as possible. As I know, like I said, I know there can be uh, some overwhelm, overwhelm and intricacies within nutrition, but the basics are so important. Like I said, the good whole foods from God's green earth, and then also uh, incorporating additional nutrition nutrient support uh, from supplements that you can't get from food alone, such as a uh, potentially an ash a product with the ashwagandha or men extra magnesium support that are, that's going to help help you as well. Many of the people that I work with my clients also uh, notice a difference in. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's good good for you. Sounds like you've been a really active. Uh, lifestyle, lifestyle. That's amazing. Where, where you are, five, five k, about three point one miles or so. I've never been much of a distance runner, but I love biking. I often do uh, three or four mile, sometimes five mile bike ride, bike ride uh, over the weekend or when I have some uh, twenty five minutes or so. So I, I certainly will uh, do that to get myself out, out and about, get uh, clear my mind, get my body moving. I'll get a little sweat going in the, in the sun. That's really an, an awesome, awesome approach. It's really, really going to uh, support mul uh, multiple factors: the physical, physical factor, physical exercise, in addition to uh, the mind-body factor. Being out and about, keep get your your mind out of your the four walls where, where you are. Uh, being active is so important, and even better, you can do it by yourself, which is great. But even better if you if you can do it with. Uh, other other people as well. It's really, really going to be really going to be beneficial. So the simple things there, like I said, uh, from a very, from a foundational perspective, uh, many of my clients notice a difference uh, pretty quickly. Actually, within five to seven, sometimes ten, ten minutes or so, uh, they'll notice a difference in their energy, their clarity, their focus. Uh, sometimes less feelings of brain fog. When they take a uh, high quality multivitamin mineral, again, I'm not a doctor, so I can I diagnose, mitigate, or prevent, but I can share a ton of testimonials and how uh, additional nutrient support can help support uh, mind body health, support our healthy emotions. Emotions uh, doesn't bring joy, it brings joy to me because I love taking them, uh, but it certainly can support uh, your mind body health, a good mood and emotions. Due to nutrient depletion in the soil, increased toxins in the environment, uh, increased stressors, many factors, uh, incorporating a good nutritional product into your day uh, is a really good investment. For like under $2 a day or so, it's a good uh, quote-unquote insurance policy uh, to make sure that our bodies are getting the uh, vitamins, minerals, and, and uh, phytonutrients uh, that it needs that I can't get from food alone. And that's, uh, there are different, uh, many different companies. It's such a hot market. Uh, uh, so many new companies popping up. And I've spoken about this and uh, other Facebook lives. But quality is really important, especially when it comes to nutritional products. I was going to go, not going to get too much into it tonight because I'm already going 40 minutes in. Uh, but you want to make sure that the product is pure, it's potent, potent meat. And like, it's going to hit you. <laughs> Not hit you in a bad way. It's going to break down, and it's going to be pure as potent, bioavailable. What does that mean? 
it means that your body is going to recognize the ingredients, uh, the, the vitamins, the minerals, and, and so forth, and it, your, your cells are going to recognize it. There, there are different forms of vitamin D. There are different forms of vitamin E, vitamin A, uh, vitamin C, B, and so forth. So you want the, the right forms at the right levels. <laughs> Most of the many uh, traditional store-bought nutritional products are kind of bare bones. They're kind of minimum wage. Nothing against, against minimum wage. They're very bare bones. So they're going to give you just the bare minimum. But we really, we really want optimal support. Optimal support to support cellular health, cellular health, and when you do get that, you're going to quite often notice a difference in uh, how you feel pretty quickly because they're so potent, they're so powerful, and they're going to get to the cells. Here's the cells in our body. Within, it's I say I have people texting me within, I like I said five to seven minutes, they'll notice a difference in how they feel pretty quickly after taking them. And I've had people say, like, whoa, it almost feels like I have a coffee, but they didn't have a coffee. Uh, they just got a, a boost of energy. There's no caffeine in it, uh, but because their their cells are nourished. Their cells are nourished with the important vitamins, minerals, and phyto phytonutrients they need. So that's what, uh, the importance of it. There are so many on the market, uh, thousands, thousands, thousands of new companies popping up all the time. Uh, so... One resource I'd like to refer people to is the Comparative Guide to Nutritional Products, which actually ranks 1,600 nutritional products uh, to excelling brands. Um, nature's Made, Nature's, sun, nature, nature's sun, Sunshine, uh, Wood, uh, Centrum, One a Day, all of those, Herbalife, and so forth, Isogenics, and so forth, and, and how they uh, rank uh, based on, again, uh, potency, purity, and bioavailability. Uh, the, the one I recommend is has been the number one rec, uh, number one ranked uh, product in that book for probably 11, 10, 11 years straight or so. So not just me saying it, but there are many uh, third-party accolades and third-party organizations uh, that recognize that and they can recognize the quality. So good to see everyone hopping, uh, staying on here. We're about 40 minutes in and so cool to see uh, people excited to learn about ways to support mind-body health, like I said. I'll start with the basics uh, from from the foods, trying to do your best to stay away from foods uh, that cause inflammation, blood sugar spikes, and that's just going to affect your emotions. Yes, I can. Uh, it's all right. The comparative guide to nutritional products is the comparative guide to nutritional products is the name of the book. Like I said, it it ranks sixteen hundred nutritional products. Uh, it's a third part of blend, blend the standard put together by, I think, 11 uh, experts in the field of nutritional science. And the product that, I, that I've been taking for 17 years and I recommend to my clients has been the number one, number one book, uh, number one ranked product in that book for uh, probably past 13, 10, 11, at least 10 or 11, but probably more years uh, in there. And that in, in, uh, to get the number one, number one ranking, they have to send the product out to a third third party lab to prove that what's in the product is uh, is on the lab label in the product. It's going to break down effectively. It's not just the company saying that. But here's the book again. Like I said, the comparative guide to nutritional products. Uh, this is the sixth edition i think this came out two year two a uh, couple years ago or so ago there's a lot of interesting talk in the book about self signaling activating pathways uh such as nrf2 nrf2 uh, mtor uh the impact that it can have uh ways to support the production of endogenous antioxidant systems uh basically meaning that you can we can uh take a supplement with a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, which is certainly helpful, but there's actually actually ways to boost the vitamin C vitamin C levels in the body naturally. So if you combine um, a certain amount of a uh, proprietary amount of phytonutrients, it's been actually clinically shown uh, to boost endogenous and antioxidants. So you can actually boost your vitamin C levels fifty times what you could actually get in um, the and the, the supplement that only had uh, a thousand, 
and this is a lot of, this is all third party, uh, NERF2, like I said, NRF2, uh, cell signaling. There's also other products, uh, that, uh, a liver support product, uh, doesn't have any vitamin C in it, but after taking over 28 days, people's vitamin C levels are increased. And that's the power of cell signaling, uh, endogenous anti, uh, supporting endogenous antioxidant processes, not just the exogenous, which is, uh, what you get from food or supplement, but there's, there's ways to, to boost, uh, glutathione, that glutathione in the body, uh, vitamin C in the body and other cofactors, uh, vitamins and minerals and so forth. In addition to, uh, and, uh, taking a lot of, I think a lot, but when you, when they work together, it actually increases hydrogen peroxide in the body. Uh, so this is kind of technical, but it's true. Uh, there's a lot of science behind this. I didn't really intend on uh, getting to, into that, but I just want to give you a little basic, a basic overview of the importance of taking a good nutritional products. You're going to, you go, you should most often uh, notice a difference in how you feel when taking a good product versus when, when taking a very basic product. Um, I'd say 97% of the people uh, that I recommend products uh, products to probably notice a difference within five to seven minutes. And if you notice a difference in 14 minutes or 19 minutes, but the point is they're very pure, they're very potent, they're very bioavailable. They're going to get into your body, they're going to get into your cells, uh, give the cells the nutrients they need, they need at the right levels to support well, well-being. And I've got uh, many testimonials. So again, I'm not here uh, just... Part, that's one part that's one part of supporting mental uh, and emotional health, health and well-being uh, from a food and herb pers perspective. Like I said, you can just there are teas. Dandelion tea is great as well. Is great as well. There are teas that is to support mood. Uh, valerian root is also good. To help, good to help to calm the body down. So there are really simple things that you can do without having to uh, go for a smoke. If you do, that's fine. God bless you. But there are, are uh, many natural ways to support your emotions, uh, well, well-being, and so forth naturally, and feel better. It's, it's I, I believe these uh, herbs and nutrients and vitamins and minerals were put on the on God's green earth for for a reason. It's for us to utilize them uh, at the right in the right time, in the right forms. We're, you're going to notice a difference. Uh, Produce. Quite often, when when you do do that, do do that, and I I notice a difference when I have the nutrient dense foods from the from the earth, like I said, and uh, not seeds, cashews, almonds, in addition to magnesium rich foods for lunch. I I'm pretty basic. Give me a, a good salad with some um with some protein, and I'm good to go. So that's uh, really the the basic. It's gonna, it's gonna make a big difference. If anyone has any questions. And what I've spoken about tonight, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Happy to help out in any way. Thanks a lot.